In this coding exercise, we are asked to build a day counter, and specifically, we are asked to be able to count the days between Christmas in 2016 and July 1st, 2004, which is approximately when Rails was released as a open source project. Now, this may not be the most practical method in the world. You probably won't be asked to compute those specific days in any project, but what it will do is walk through exactly what you'll need to do whenever you do have to count how many days have transpired between two day objects. Now, the first thing that I did was I brought in and I required the date library in Ruby. Now, with that in place, the first thing I'm going to do is create some date objects. So I'm going to say date dot new. And the way that you can create a date object is to pass in the year. So the year first. So 2016 is the first. 12 is the month. And 25 is the day because this is Christmas. And in Ruby, we can actually simply say minus and then date dot new 2004. 0701. Now by doing this, if I come down here and say day counter and then run this code, this is going to give me almost what we need. Notice that this gives me a rational. So essentially what this is doing is it's giving me the date. This is a correct answer here, but it's putting it over one, like a fraction. And if I say class, just so we can see exactly what this is returning. Now, if I run this, you can see that this returns a rational data type by default. But thankfully, this can be converted. And before we even try to convert it here, I think it's a good practice to walk through exactly what you would do in a real life scenario. So the first thing I would do is I'd come here and see if I could wrap this or, you know, get wrap what is returned as an integer. And this is one way of casting a data type to an integer is by calling the integer method on it. So I'm going to now run this and you can see that gives us the correct answer. An alternative way of doing this would be to wrap it and then instead of saying integer day counter, saying integer to I or the date to I and running this and this would give us a very similar type of result but I don't really uh, I, I personally prefer calling integer on it just like this because I think it is a little bit more intuitive on exactly what it's doing so let's wrap that up and wrap the entire thing in parens and now we can just for the sake of it I mean, I know this is going to work, but let's just make sure. So if we run this, this is going to give us 4560, and that is the correct number of days between Christmas in 2016 and July 1st, 2004. So very nice job if you went through that. That is a pretty intuitive way of being able to count the days in Ruby. And now let's take a quick look to make sure that our tests are passing. So if I say RSpec and January 28th and run this, you can see one example, zero failure. So nice job in going through that. You now know how to count days in Ruby.